Hello guys, Greg back with another video. So back in January I did a video I called Perfect 10 Fragrances and it was basically a list of all the fragrances in my collection that I consider to be Perfect 10s. Now since January I've added a few to my collection and also promoted a few from my collection to be Perfect 10s. So I've got another five to show you today. Um, so let's crack on with it. The first one is this one here. This is the one I'm probably going to get most stick for, for calling it a 10 out of 10. But I'll explain why. So this is um, Thierry Mugler's Mugler Cologne. Now I've bought and sold this probably two or three times and replaced it with another fragrance which smells very similar. Um, now the reason I give this a 10 out of 10, it's by no means the most complex or groundbreaking fragrance. But it's perfect at doing what it's meant to do. It's a soapy, clean, fresh fragrance and it's as good as it gets for that type of fragrance. The one it gets compared to is Creed's Original Vetiver. Um, the original Vetiver obviously has a Vetiver feel and takes a turn towards that, whereas this one stays very, very linear, very soapy and clean. It's got Neroli in here, Bergamot, it's got Musk and Pettigrain, which are four notes that I absolutely love, so no surprise that I really do love this one. Um, but anyway, that's the first entrance from this video into the Perfect 10 out of 10 Club, that's Thierry Mugler's Mugler Cologne. So the next one, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so this is one I've been testing for quite a while and it's it's just so good that I had to buy a bottle. And this one is from the niche house of Bella Bellissima, which is a British house, and this one is called White Leather. It says Essence of Oud on there, this is the name of the fragrance, White Leather. Now, this one is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to do a full review on this, but to give you a brief description of it, um, it's Vanilla Musk Leather and Oud. Um, what I get from this, very oriental and it reminds me a lot of Tom Ford's Oud Wood um, now I think you can only get this from Selfridge and Fortnum and Mason in the UK so you're probably going to struggle to find it if you're outside of the UK but if you do get a chance to get your nose on it do because I promise you it is an amazing fragrance uh, and an absolute beast mode performance on it as well so that is White Leather from Bella Bellissima uh, and given the comparison I gave, it's only fitting that the next one that I had to add to the 10 out of 10 list is Tom Ford's Oud Wood. So to my nose, this one's vanilla, oud, woods, uh, sandalwood, I get amber, get some tonka and some nice spices in there. And I think I've tried nearly all the private blends, not all of them, but this one along with Tuscan Leather are the, is the best that I've come across so far. And uh, definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. So that is Tom Ford's Oud Wood. The fourth one... Uh, if you've followed my channel, you know I've been championing this fragrance for, for several months now. There's lots of fragrances out there now that smell very similar to Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. But this one is the closest, in my opinion, and in fact, I actually think it's better. And this one is from the house of Rosazi, and it's called La Ukawam. So like Tuscan Leather, it's predominantly, unsurprisingly, leather, and also raspberry, and suede and saffron. Now, that's, this, this smell seems to be a really popular formula. There's tons of fragrances, probably six or seven, that are very, very similar, but this one is the best I've come across. If you want a full breakdown of this, I did do a full review, so I'll leave a link in the des uh, description below so that you can see that. So that is La Ukawam from Rosazi. And the final one, saving the best for last here, I'm not really um, confident in describing this one because it's... Um, it really is such a good quality fragrance. Now, I'm not one to jump on hype trains, um, but credit where credit is due, this fragrance is honestly absolutely phenomenal. And this is from Roja Parfums, uh, Roger Dove, and this is Amber Oud. And as I say, there's a lot of hype around this house at the moment, and that's not something I generally get involved with, but this one, I can see why there's hype, because honestly, this is one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. It could even be the best. Um, I will have the balls at some point hopefully to review this but in the moment I'll just say that for me I get a very wearable oud from this um, it's got a rose in here that's kind of almost like a jammy type of rose it's got some citrus it's got a lang lang and it's got oris in there which uh, is pretty much in all uh, Roger Dove's fragrances just let you have a little look at the bottle it's got the Swarovski crystal cap which is beautiful um, but yeah, as I said, I don't want to jump on any bandwagons, but this really is awesome, so I can't say any different. So anyway, there you go, guys. That is um, five more entrants to the Perfect Ten Club. Um, add that to the six from the original video, so there's 11 now. Um, 
excuse me there'll be more added as I go along but that's what I've got for now so thanks for watching guys thanks as always uh, please do rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon cheers